So in this Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC video, I bring you 20 weapons you can get very early on in this game without fighting or defeating any bosses. These are all brand new weapons. These are, well, there's new weapon types within here too. Today, guys, we get into it all. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the weapons featured today you can get right off the bat uh, of jumping into the Shadow Realm, aka the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. So as soon as you beat Morg and have access to this new place, these are then weapons you can just go and grab without having to fight any other main boss or even any other hard hitting enemy. So there are 20 in total, I have timestamps down below and tied to individual graces too because there's a couple of graces here we'll be using a few times for multiple weapons so do keep that in mind. But let's get into it guys and I have put these in the best order as I can from that very first grace point. So first up we have the Curse Blade Cirque. So this brand new backhand blade scales with strength and dexterity and it is also a great weapon in my opinion. It hits fast, you remain nimble using it which is what I love. So from the very first grace point follow this short path and you will be surprised by this enemy. Farm this enemy folks until he drops you this weapon. If when you take him out he doesn't drop it for you simply fast travel back to that grace point and repeat the process. Really simple people. Next up guys we have the backhand blade, a backhand blade actually called the backhand blade, who the fall? This one guys having a very unique skill though called blind spot which I absolutely am in love with, check it out. Uh, so this one scales with strength and dexterity and is as simple as just coming and grabbing this weapon because it's just lying around waiting for you. So from the Scorch Ruins Grace, follow the path I take on screen now guys to grab this weapon. Next up guys we have the Great Katana. So this Great Katana is with its Bloodlust build up and overhead stance skill is another one you can simply just come and pick up. It is a weapon though, I'm not going to lie, I don't really enjoy using, it's a little slow for me. But hey, it scales with strength and dexterity, I know there's someone out there that would love this. Now to get this guys is actually next to a sleeping dragon, so make sure you get here, get close, make sure you are creeping. So from their free path cross grace, follow the path I take on screen now. Okay, so next up guys we have the swift spear so the swift spear with its impaling thrust skill is a weapon you can find literally just lying by the side of the road 
Now the weapon itself, I'm slowly getting fond of. Great for that long range attacks and keeping the enemies out of bay. Uh, it scales your strength and dexterity if you're wondering though. So yeah, to get this guys, come to the castle front grace and follow the short path I take on screen. Now, there are a couple of enemies you may have to take out to get this, or you can just grab it like I do and try to run off. Up to you. Next up guys, we have the spread crossbow. So this crossbow, I can see people doing some crazy things with it. That's because this thing shoots bolts like it's a shotgun, 10 at a time. This thing at point blank range could do some serious damage. So come to the castle front grace and follow this short path I take on the screen now to get this new crossbow. Next up guys, we have the Mesmer's Soldier Axe. So this axe with its war cry skill scales with strength and dex. Uh, not my kind of thing, I won't lie, but I know there's people out there that will enjoy this. So again, from the Castle Front Grace, follow the path I take on screen. Now to this Mesmer Soldier. Now here you have to farm this guy to get this weapon drop. Return to that Grace if you ain't lucky and repeat in the process. Next up guys, we have the Mesmer Soldier Spear. Another one that scales your strength and dexterity, and this one guys, uh, you can get again from that Castle Front Grace. So follow the path I take on screen. Now there's a pair of enemies here who can both drop this thing, so double your chances here. Again, if you ain't lucky though, return to that Grace and repeat this cycle. Next up guys, we have the Fire Spark Perfume Bottle. So another new weapon to the game in regards to us being able to use such. It scales with decks only, and to be honest, I quite like this thing. It's definitely something different, and I may try to create something with this one. So from the Castle Front Grace Point, follow the path I take, take out these enemies and grab this from that chest. Next up guys, we have the Milady. Now the Milady, like great sword, is another weapon you can simply just come and grab. It scales with dexterity and strength. And to get this guys from the castle front grace point, uh, we've been here quite a while now, 
follow the path I take. Now you will have to take out a couple of enemies, nothing major, uh, but upon you doing this, scale the ladder, climb up this tower and grab this weapon. Simple. Next up guys we have the Moon Refuel's Night Sword, I believe that's pronounced. So this amazing sword scales with strength, dexterity and intellect. And it offers something very very unique called Tremendous Phalanx. Yeah, this will look familiar to some of those older players out there. So to get this guys you need to be a summoner, a summoned enemy. An invader named Moon Refuel carrying a knight. So just a little bit further up from the castle front grace point, we have the castle Ensis checkpoint. So from here guys, follow the path I take on screen now to the summoner, take him out and get your reward. Next up guys we have the deadly poison perfume bottle. So another perfume bottle weapon guys but in actual fact this one is much much better. It not only applies poison but it does so in great fashion. With its skill dousing the whole area even the person applying it with that poison. It's called deadly poison spray. Now this weapon scales with strength, dexterity and arcane. Okay, so to get this guys, you need to come to this point in the map with 6,000 runes and simply purchase this from this vendor. That's all it takes people. Simple. So, uh... Next up guys, we have the Smith Script Dagger. Okay, so this amazing little new weapon is again guys just waiting for you to come and grab it. So this weapon is very very unique as it allows you to throw the thing and it magically reappearing back in your hand allowing you to throw it again. You can two hand it and throw two at the same time. It's very very cool. I'm excited to see what people do and come up with in regards to builds and this weapon. Now with its piercing throw skill and the fact it scales with strength, dexterity, intellect and faith it is pretty unique. Now it is located within the Ruin Forge Lava Intake, just southwest of that castle from Grace. So when you come here guys, follow the path I take and just grab this weapon. 
obviously triggering the grace while you are here because there's another weapon hidden nearby which you want to come and get. Okay, so next up guys, we have the anvil, hammer. Okay, so this weapon or this hammer is a monster of a weapon uh, that offers that fire attack power. Now it scales with strength, dexterity, intellect, and faith, and has requirements to match. It has a unique skill called smithing art spear, where you slam the weapon into the ground and it summons spears all around you, pretty cool. So the weapon is another one located within the ruined forge lava intake, but to get this guys, you have to basically run this to the end. It's not hard, but if you follow the path I take on screen now, because you have to go and use a lever, which is semi hidden away. You can basically just follow the path after that and grab this weapon. It's simple. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Horned Warrior's Sword. So this amazing curved sword is really unique. It scales with strength, dexterity and faith and has a badass skill called Horn Calling, where you drive the weapon into the ground and a cluster of piercing thorns appear beneath you. Or at a distance, depending on your aim. Pretty cool. So to get this thing guys, you need to farm a certain enemy called the Horned Warrior. And the best place to do this is from the small private altar grace as right nearby is indeed a horned warrior. So farm these guys until you get this amazing weapon to drop. Next up guys, we have the Horned Warrior's Greatsword. So yeah, there's another Horned Warrior out there, another variant out there who has this greatsword. Now this is a weapon that has eluded me so far, but you can farm it before you fight any major bosses. Uh, to do this guys, come to the stage from Grace. From here, simply jump down onto the tree uh, or scale the building down. You're seeing both of these uh, different variants are getting down on the screen now. Trust me, it saves a lot of time when it comes to farming. Then just run this way and you'll encounter the Horned Warrior 
holding this incredible weapon. It has a super low drop chance, but it can drop. Now if you ain't lucky, fast travel back to that grace and repeat the process. Next up guys, we have the Bone Bow. So this very unique bow has a skill called Rancor Shot, where instead of using your actual arrows, you use FP instead, and very cool indeed. But also you can use normal arrows if you want to. Uh, what's not to like about this thing? So from the small private auto graze, follow this path I take and grab this bow, people. Okay, so next up we have two weapons that drop from the same enemy type within the same place. The Blood Fiend's Arm and the Blood Fiend's Fork. Firstly, we'll take a brief glimpse at the Fork. Okay, so this spear scales with Strength, Dexterity and Arcane and it causes that blood loss buildup. Uh, so the Arm is a colossal weapon that scales with Strength, uh, Dexterity and Arcane. So to get these weapons guys, you need to come to Prospect Town, where its nearest grace is the Clifford Terminus. So from here guys, you want to climb to the top as I do on the screen now. Now up here there are a multitude of these Blood Fiend enemies. Some having the arm, others having the fork. You want to take them out. But actually guys, if you leave one alive and let them kill you, you have the option to spawn right back on this roof, making this farm much, much easier for these weapons. So keep that in mind. Next up guys, we have the Pata, or Pata, not sure how that's pronounced. So this fist type weapon is actually very, very good. It scales your strength and dexterity, and it is just my kind of thing. Super fast, allowing your character to remain agile. This is another weapon I may build something around and level up. We'll see. They also look very cool too. So to get this guys, you need to make your way to the Church of Benediction. And again, the closest grace point to this is the Clifford Terminus. So from here guys, as I do on screen now, follow the path I take to get this weapon and the armor set that comes with it.
Okay, so lastly guys, we have the Black Steel Great Hammer. So this is a weapon that scales with strength, dexterity and faith and has that endure skill attached to it. Now this is a weapon I believe I think I got lucky with. I defeated a Black Knight that only spawns in that one particular spot that one time. If you go back there, he doesn't respawn, but I had this drop on the first time I killed him. And the location can be found right near the first DLC Grace. You're seeing this on screen now. But there are other Black Knight enemies in and around the map, which I'm not sure if they drop this, uh, but they don't have limited spawns, so you can just farm them over and over. This one located right near that castle front, Grace, you'll see me go to on screen now. I farmed this dude over and over and got the full armor set, but I didn't get another weapon drop. He also has a shield too. I didn't get that too, so keep that in mind. I think they're super, super low drop rates. But there we have it guys, 20 weapons, brand new to the Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC, one you can grab literally straight off the bat without having to worry about any boss battles. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.